<laughs> All right. Welcome back to the channel. We got the big fight coming up at the end of the month. Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury for the WBC belt. And Deontay Wilder, a lot of talk about the size that these guys are going to be during this fight. Tyson Fury came out or people said that they were looking for him to be around 270 pounds when he comes in. And Deontay Wilder's trainer lets it be known what they're targeting. And it is pretty, pretty big for Deontay Wilder. But at the same time, dispels a lot of myths about the or a major myth about the heavyweight division. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Deontay Wilder, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world, is preparing to fight Tyson Fury, uh, the former Ring Magazine champion, former WBA, former WBO, former IBF champion uh, in a rematch in Las Vegas on February 22nd. So the closer we get to the fight, the more information that we get, we hear about it. I do believe that this fight is going to be a very, very big fight. Um, the ticket prices for this thing are ridiculous. And also during the Super Bowl, and I do not watch the Super Bowl often, but the Kansas City Chiefs were in the Super Bowl, and that is where my wife, that's my wife's hometown. I just moved from that area, so I have a lot of friends that are big Chief fans, so I decided that I would take my break from watching a rematch, watching replays of old boxing matches, and actually sit down and watch the, sh the Super Bowl on Fox, and during the the uh one of the commercial breaks i see an advertisement for deontay wilder tyson fury that my friend is a absolutely huge commercial that was viewed by a lot of people and if they just get if they just get one percent of the people that saw that con that saw that um that commercial <laughs> to buy that pay-per-view that is a very, very big pay-per-view and a tremendous success. So Fox, you can clearly see, is putting a lot of a lot of effort and a lot of uh, money behind this fight, uh, this fight for Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, and also behind the sport of boxing. That is absolutely a big thing. Those ticket, those my understanding is that spot, that 30-second spot is worth five million dollars. Now, seeing as it's Fox advertising on Fox more than likely they didn't pay five million dollars but that was the value that they gave up uh the value that they gave up um to promote that fight so they were promoting not only uh they're not only just promoting Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury they really are promoting boxing on Fox as a way to keep people focused there so this is a absolutely gigantic fight so being a gigantic fight you start hearing about a lot of the things, you know, in, you know, in the fight that you might not pay attention to a lot in other fights. And one of the things that I think is a pretty critical thing is how much these guys are going to come into the ring weighing and what do, and what does that mean? Right. So you have Tyson Fury a couple days ago showed a picture of him with a green screen behind him and you could see his arms were like this. And, you know, he's, he's actually hiding his stomach a little bit. But they said that he's coming in to a bulked up 270 pounds so that he can stop Deontay Wilder. My speculation is that that, my friend, is going to be fat. OK, or that he's psyching people out and he's probably going to come in there around the same that he always does. You saw that with um with Andy Ruiz. Andy Ruiz, all, Andy Ruiz's weight issue, obviously, was that not how big, you know, how not him getting bigger, but him not letting his weight blown, you know, balloon. So you saw a lot of pictures of him. One was with him sitting there with in a black shirt, right? In a black shirt uh, with his arms extended like this. And, he, and it had a what I thought was it had a slimming effect on him. It made it look as if he was uh, slimmer. And quite honestly, they might have cropped that picture and just stretched it out a little bit as well. Because when Andy Ruiz actually got to the ring, Andy Ruiz was a really, really big dude. And it was like, dang, man, I thought he lost weight. Where'd all this extra weight come from? Nah, they were just selling wolf tickets, man. They were selling wolf tickets in the lead up to the fight for some reason. 
when you knew it was problems when he got into the got into the um got on the stage uh got uh, got in the way in and he weighed in with his shirt on just you know what was all that for but, but you know hey man it's for some reason and i think you saw that with, i think you saw that or there's a significant chance you saw that with tyson fury now deontay wilder people are talking about deontay wilder's weight and jd's has said that they want him to come in against tyson fury in the mid 220s now that i do believe is a significant thing because deontay wilder weighed in at a between 209 and 212 for the first fight that when when he got on the scale and it said 209 because i know i heard 209 People keep telling me, no, Fanon, it's 212. No, it's 212. Like, I know I heard 209. I know I heard 209. But that's why I'm saying between 209 and 212, because I don't feel like having people in the comment section telling me what the weight actually was and saying, no, it was 212. I know I heard 209. Some people said it was 212. I'm not sure what it is, what the deal is. But 212 or 209 is very slim for a six foot seven guy. Okay. And De versus when Deontay Wilder came in for Dominic Brazil and he was around 220. And when he was came in for, against Luis Ortiz, and I think he was closer to 219, 219 pounds. If Deontay Wilder can come in at come in that fight at 200 and you know, 223, 224, 225 pounds. That is a very strong, that is a very solid Deontay Wilder. And it's funny because that's like the, that is the opposite problem that most people have in boxing. Like it's a strange problem to have for Deontay Wilder. The fact that he actually has to worry about making sure that he weighs, that he weighs enough to fight, to, to fight effectively. So most people have to be told to stay away from the kitchen table, to stay away from the kitchen table, to stay away from the sweets, you know, to make sure that you're exercising. This guy, you actually have to tell him to sit down. You have to make a special part of your day and make sure, tell this guy to sit down and watch him eat. Most people, you, most people, you got to sit around like Andy Ruiz. You got to make sure, sit around and make sure he's not eating. Or with Javon, I'm telling you, I'm cracking Jer Javante Davis is, because I know people good. I'm going to crack some Javante Davis knows because I jokes because I know dang well people are going to be upset about the video that I did about Javante Davis today. You got to you got to follow Javante Davis around and make sure he ain't eating and make sure that he just ain't slapping innocent, innocent bystanders up, up against the head, uh, you know, uh, slapping them up against the head, man. Just absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> But you don't have to do that with Deontay Wilder. You got to sit down and make sure that this guy actually is eating what he's supposed to eat. Now, that dispels a gigantic myth in the heavyweight division. And I've been saying this. The WBC had considered doing this super heavyweight division, right? There's other people. World Boxing News, maybe a week or two ago, put out a, an article that talked about the need for the, a new weight class, the super heavyweight division, 250 pounds and above why why there's a difference between height there's a difference between height and weight okay height and weight Deontay Wilder probably when he was fighting Tyson Fury towards the 12th round when he knocked him out was if he walked in that ring weighing 212 pounds around that particular point in that fight he might have been around 205 206 pounds Okay, from all the sweating that he did for those for those 45 minutes. He could have sweat, he could easily sweat a couple pounds off. So, but yet he laid the 255, 260 pound guy on his back. And he did it multi and he did it multiple times. Deontay Wilder doesn't have a problem knocking people out being 210, 215 pounds. George Foreman never weighed 260. Maybe in the later part of his career, he got up towards 250 pounds. If you have a super, if you used to have a division where the heck to be a heavyweight, to be in the main division in boxing, you have to, you, you are expected to weigh 250 pounds. You're just going to have a lot of fat heavyweights. You're going to have Dillian White. Dillian White weighs 250 pounds, but he ain't got any business weighing 250 pounds. Shoot. I weigh 250 pounds. I don't have any need. I don't have any business weighing close to two. I weigh a little less than 250. But thank God, um, after a lot of work, 
but I ain't got no business weighing 250 pounds. If I'm a fighter, if I'm a boxer, I walk, I could, I could fight at 250 pounds. I should be fighting at around 190 pounds. I should more likely to be safe, be fighting somewhere in the 175 pound division that never got that big to begin with. This it's just it's just nonsense. You don't need to be that big. Anyway, it's going to be interesting to see how the size and the strength play out in this next fight. I'm really looking forward to it. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.